Captain. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Network. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Let's jam in as many calls as we can right now in overdrive. Shane in Florida, thanks for holding. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Jones? Shane Hess here. Uh, I called you a couple years ago when I was still in the military. I was an Apache driver at the time. Um, I want to let you know that there is uh, something you can find online called CMOS, which is a common missile warning system. Um, all aircraft in the U.S. military are uh, retrofitted with this technology, which basically renders any portable surface-to-air missile device virtually irrelevant. Is that where um, it fires out any- all the flares? Yeah, that's what it is. And something that you know we should be putting out there, because let's think about this. If we end up having an event which we, we know could be used as a, a false flag or whatever you want to call it, um, they're going to end up retrofitting every civilian airline with this anyway. So if this is the threat and they're admitting it, then they should go ahead and just start retrofitting these things now to prevent it from ever happening. That's just my one point there. And then the one other thing I want to let you know is um, we are still talking to the military every single day. I'm not in, in my unit anymore, but um, I have a former uh, uh, a uh, lieutenant who's now company commander, and she just put together a memo on 31 March of 2014, and bullet three says to facilitate the soldiers and officers of this command, basically upholding their oath, each member of Delta Company will be required to sign for and maintain a copy of the U.S. Constitution issued to them upon arrival to the company. Um, I'm not going to give any specific information about uh, who my former lieutenant was, but I can certainly uh, forward you uh, what this memo looks like, and there, there's real stuff happening in the command structure at the low level um, to to basically awaken people to their constitutional oath. Well, that's what I was have seen happen the last 19 years on air, is that when they try to get the military at the low and mid-level to do bad things, it actually causes a big awakening and a constitutional rebellion against that tyranny. Please send that uh, to showtips at infowars.com. Just give us the details. We'll you know we'll cover up the names to protect everybody. That that the military is rebelling in a legal and lawful way by promoting the Bill of Rights and Constitution and reminding people uh, what their real oaths are. And that's the last thing the establishment wants. So that's a beautiful thing. And I am aware uh, of that happening and going on. And it's very exciting. That's why it's key for veterans to reach out to their friends that are still in. And to let them know that we're awake, that they're waking up, and that we can save this country. That's why the globalists are desperately opening the borders up right now. Appreciate it. A lot of us know who you are. We appreciate what you're doing, sir. And uh, we're not going to let this happen. Um, the big thing is, uh, are we going to unify around some basic principles of being good people? And uh, so that's why a lot of the rhetoric that we need to have just needs to unify people. And we, our biggest enemy right now is apathy. People are ready to do something, but they're not exactly sure. Exactly. What to do. People need to know they have power. And, and just speaking out against evil is good. And, uh, and, and then picking things to do locally is good. But that's why we have a chance to win and why the system is so scared, because there is a big awakening happening. It really is happening, folks. Who's up next here? Uh, Hubo in Wisconsin. And then I'm out of time. I'm sorry, the other callers. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. hello, Alex Jones. Um, thank you for this opportunity. It's Habu. Okay. Uh, in any case, uh, you know, uh, I believe that you are singularly the person who's uh, speaking out from the highest rampart against this whole uh, Iraq uh, 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 story that is being fed by the mainstream media. You are a, a cogent, stentorian, and, and uh, kudos to you. You know, I, I listened to your previous guest um, uh, whose website is We Meant Well, and I don't know what to think of it. And he's not here to defend himself, so I'm not going to lambast him. I'll tell you him. what, we'll just keep doing more overdrive. We'll do one more segment. We'll talk to Brian, Anthony, and Mark. Stay there. Uh, you've called before. How do you pronounce your name? Abu. Abu, Abu. Okay, I'll get it right. All right. I can hardly speak English, much less get other names right. It's a cool name. I just can't. 
you know, hardly say my name correctly myself. So, uh, Habu, stay there. We'll come back to you, let you finish your point. Then Mark, Brian, and Anthony straight ahead in overdrive. Man, when I get home from work, all Betty does is watch her reality TV and then she goes to sleep. I can take her on romantic dates, I get her flowers, you name it. She's just not the woman I married. Oh, Ralph, that's just awful. Does this seem familiar? Are the honeymoon days of your relationship long gone? If so, consider the abundance of chemical additives, pesticides, BPA containers, contaminated tap water, and other toxic substances found in our environment. Experts know our bodies are suffering and being thrown off balance, especially when it comes to your natural systems. Forget synthetic chemicals. Super Female Vitality brings forward key herbs specifically chosen for women's biology without the use of phony additives. Get your bottle of Super Female Vitality today at InfoWarsLife.com, InfoWarsStore.com, or call 1-888-253-3139. InfoWarsLife.com. Live life healthy. Hey everyone, have you heard about the no-no hair removal device that's sweeping the globe? If you want to go weeks without shaving and get smooth, professional quality results, here's our favorite host Cheryl for no-no hair removal. Thanks. Hey gals, I love talking about my no-no. It's this cute little hair removal system that you can take with you and use almost anywhere at home or on the road. No more expensive in-office treatments, painful waxing, and no more wasting your valuable time. Got unwanted facial hair? No-no hair has patented Thermacon technology that works on all hair and skin colors. So it's perfect for using on all body parts. And now you can take advantage of this incredible risk-free trial. Get the No-No, the facial kit, a travel case, and a $100 discount shopping card. And you don't risk a penny to try it. Try the incredible No-No hair completely risk-free. Call 1-800-953-6062. That's 800-953-6062. 800-953-6062. The human body is extraordinary. Despite all the stresses we inflict upon it, it still works hard to stay in balance. Thousands upon thousands of people rely upon heart and body extract to help their body stay balanced. This excellent 100% natural herbal formula helps maintain healthy blood pressure levels, cleans arteries, promotes good circulation, balances cholesterol, and more. HB extract paired with healthy lifestyle choices like good nutrition and exercise can give you a life free of pain, sickness, and fear. Recapture your youthful vitality and experience your body healing itself with the aid of HB extract. It's extremely effective and it starts working in just days. Visit hbextract.com to learn more and to read scores of testimonials from satisfied customers. And we've never increased our price in over 10 years. That makes heart and body extract as great a value now as it was the first day we sold it. A healthy heart is a happy heart. Call 866-295-5305 or go to hbextract.com. The Genesis Communications Radio Network proudly presents The Alex Jones Show, because there's a war on for your mind. All right, we're in overdrive right now for one more segment. Uh, Habu in Wisconsin, you were bringing up the State Department whistleblower uh, that we had on earlier, Peter Van Buren. Uh, go ahead and uh, make your point. Yeah, I, I won't uh, uh, go over too much what he said, but he, he sounded a lot like the clueless... Um, Senator Biden, when you remember, he had his um, his hearings on Iraq, and he said, uh, I think this was two or three years after the invasion, that it should be divided into three parts, as if it was for him to preordain what Iraq should be. And this person is kind of saying the same thing, as have others, when the Syrian uh, um, uh, 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 matter was, you know, in bad shape for uh, the Assad government. They were saying, oh, it should be divided into this, that, the other. You know, these people have no clue, uh, respectfully, about what is going on there, and it is for the, for the indigenous peoples to decide. And I think this is what we want uh, from the globalist perspective, as you say, to divide it into these Bantu stands so that they can't, you know, uh, work together and, and, pro and, and provide, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 their own sovereignty and a resistance. That's what's going the on is a destabilization program, and Brzezinski admits that. And then you got somebody from the State Department, like Van Buren, who's a smart guy, but from his perspective, it's inept. But when we have all the quotes, it's not inept. It's order out of chaos. It's milking chaos. And it is the plan to deindustrialize and reduce the population of Iraq. Look, they had a stable government before they had Saddam Hussein overthrow it in 79. 
Then they overthrew him, who was stable compared to what was there. And then they talk about how screwed up it is, and their answer is break it in more parts. And it's just going to continue on forever. This is their model, and uh, that's their program. You're absolutely correct, and you've been saying this for a long time, whether it was Syria or Libya or Iraq before that. So, And you singularly... None oh, please of don't praise me, brother. We're all in this together. It's pretty simple to see once you've studied it. But, but at least you are saying it and others aren't, so that's the difference. Uh, in any case, you know, I also have a problem with his website, that Van Buren, that we meant well. We meant well ever since 91 when we, uh, you know, the highway of death and all the continuous bombing in the, in, in the 90s and then, uh, you know, even Bill Clinton before that and, the, uh, you know, it was worth the price. We never meant well. Well, I think he means, I mean, I think he means that he meant well. And again, at the compartmentalized mid-level he was at, they really believe the mission, but they're told the, the mission is A when the mission is really Q. And so they're following on this mission doesn't make sense because they're compartmentalized. I mean, I don't think he's a bad guy. I agree totally with his analysis on the uh, situation in Ukraine. He was just involved in Iraq, so I think that's where you get what I would call a distortion in that point he was making. But as far as the facts he was giving, I think they're pretty accurate. But uh, how do you think Iraq's going to end up? You know, I hate to say, say this. I, I think Iran is going to play a bigger and bigger role and, and to the detriment of the Iraqi people. Uh, and not that I don't like Iran or anything like this, but, you know, if I'm for sovereignty against U.S. interference, I'm also for sovereignty against Iranian and other interference. And, and you know, these the poor people of Iraq, have suffered for four decades now, and and it, I, you know, if anything good can come out of this to answer your question, I, I hope there is a final convulsion, which will finally kind of um, uh, 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 bring this together. The people have had enough, but they want to be Iraqis. No, I hear you. I, I'll I say this. I'll say this, and I appreciate your call. I got to move on to others, but our government in '79 put Saddam Hussein in power. He was CIA, he was trained. Then they tell him to attack Iran. Then they tell him, oh, go ahead and invade Kuwait. Then they set him up. Then they kill over a million people with sanctions and war over the next couple decades. And then now they're invading it with Al-Qaeda, who is armed. The globalists don't want any strong, quasi-secular first world nations. That was Saddam's crime, was swimming pools, 60% of girls going to college, and uh, having high IQs. And now they've been totally wrecked and ruined. And it's the model of what the globalists push. And Saudi Arabia, who's a big partner in this, wants a weak neighbor to the north. And uh, it's, it's just a barrel of snakes is all I can say. You know, it's easy to have this subterfuge Machiavellian mind. The Arabs have had that forever. Look what it's done to them. You've just got to be... Honorable, And when I say Arabs, I'm not saying they're dishonorable. I'm saying the Arab elites, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Well, not necessarily if they're your enemy already. I mean, it's, it's you know, I mean, if Jeffrey Dahmer didn't like some rock band that I like, doesn't mean Jeffrey Dahmer's good. Doesn't mean I throw in with Jeffrey Dahmer. It's just, ugh. These people that look at it and angle expediently for themselves, oh, this will work good for my aims today, that is knowledge, not wisdom. Let's talk to Mark in Illinois. Mark, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? I'm doing all right, brother. It's good to be alive and above ground. Any day above ground is a good day. Any day, any, any day above the flowers is a good day. I'll tell you what, Alex, you got a live one here. Uh, this this whole immigration thing, uh, the way it's going, and the deep uh, the, the destabilization, the, the, I'm sorry, the, the destabilization of this country, and the, uh, the demoralization of this country, I see it all around me. I mean, I see it every day. Uh, you know, there's the, there, there aren't any jobs here anymore for the most part. Uh, you know, I, I see this country going to heck. I'm going to try to stay on topic here. I could talk about a lot of things. But, uh, you know, one of the things you brought up earlier with this, uh, you know, this David Knight thing uh, tonight, and, you know, the collapse of the, you know, uh, North America as a whole, 
you know, we we all know what it's about. It's about, you know, they're going to bring in the, the Amero, you know, and it's the North American Union and all that stuff. And the reason why these globalists don't want this stronghold, you know, any, any type of stronghold anywhere is because you can't bring in a one-world currency – 